you can see that I'm searching ASFA. Although the interface looks exactly the same as it did for ESPM, the database you're searching is actually very different. ASFA is a very structured database. The subjects covered in the references are indexed in a thesaurus and you can use the thesaurus to improve the relevance of the results that you find. I'm going to search for the impact of pollution on fish physiology. I'm going to start by looking at fish physiology and I use the thesaurus. There's a list of thesauruses here. The first one is the ASFA thesaurus and it's for subjects. The second one's not relevant for us, but the taxonomic terms thesaurus is for searching for species names. We're looking for a subject, so I'm going to start by selecting the first thesaurus, the subject one, and I'm interested in fish physiology. So I'm going to type the word physiology and I'm looking for any thesaurus terms that contain the words physiology and click on find. So here's all the different thesaurus terms that have physiology in them and I'm interested in the one fish physiology. So if I click on that fish physiology link this shows me that term within the thesaurus structure. It shows me that there is actually a broader term that I could consider searching and sometimes you'll also have narrower terms that are even more specific than fish physiology. The little yellow box, if I click on that, this gives me information about that term. So it tells me what the term is used for, physiology of fish, and then it suggests related terms that you might want to consider adding to your search as well. I'm just going to select the fish physiology option by ticking the box next to it and then add to the search the button at the foot. So you see it adds it to the advanced search screen for me and I can search that topic. So that finds a very large number of results. I want to carry on searching and combine that fish physiology idea with pollution. So I'm going to choose modify search to carry on with this particular search and I'm going to choose the thesaurus again. Now I'm looking for the pollution idea, click on find. So here are all the thesaurus terms with pollution in them and you can see there's one here aquatic pollution. Now since I'm looking for stuff to do with fish physiology it makes sense that I'm interested in aquatic pollution. So I'm going to select that link and you can see at the top here the thesaurus is guiding you in your search. It's saying water pollution, you should use that term if you're interested in aquatic pollution. I'm going to tick the water pollution option. When I tick that you see that the explode option here is also ticked. Explode sounds very exciting. What it means is that all the narrower terms within water pollution, so brackish water pollution and so on, the explode option means that all those narrower terms will automatically be included in my search along with water pollution. I select water pollution, explode and add to my search. So this is building my search up on the advanced search screen. I've got the fish physiology idea and then the water pollution idea. And as I said, along with water pollution, all those narrower terms are automatically included as well. And I'm going to click on search. I'm going to modify my search a bit further. Select the modify search option. And I'm going to look at this topic in the context of a particular species, for example, Salmo salar, Atlantic salmon. I go back to the thesaurus search, but you remember that I'm searching the thesaurus for subjects where I'm looking for a species. So I need to select another thesaurus to search in. And there's that taxonomic terms option for the Latin names of organisms. So I'm going to search for Salmo salar in the index and see if it's included. So I click on find. Here's the options it's found. If I click on Salmo Salar and the little yellow box to get the notes about it, you see it says here, use term for Atlantic salmon. I select the Salmo Salar option, tick the box next to it. I choose that add to search option. I've added the Salmo Salar idea and click on search. So that's those three ideas together. And now I've found 27 results. So that's really narrowed it down a lot. Because I use the thesaurus for my search, the results that I've found will have those thesaurus terms as the main topic of the article. They won't be just brief mentions as can sometimes happen when you've done a keyword search. Using the thesaurus increases the relevance of the results that you find. You can also search by keyword as we looked at using the ESPM database. So you would probably be doing a combination of thesaurus searches and then perhaps combining those with some keyword searches.